here is Julian Peterson. Julian Peterson, he, uh, he graduated here in 98. After that, he went on to Michigan State. Uh, as a junior, he was an uh, honorable mention All-American. His senior year, he was an All-American. Had 15 sacks his senior year. Uh, Five-time Pro Bowler uh, in 2000. Got drafted in the first round okay, by the San Francisco 49ers. 16th overall in the first round. Like you said, five Pro Bowl, 2006. Um, signed with the Seattle Seahawks uh, with the Pro Bowl with them as well. Finished his 11-year career with the Detroit Lions. Again, he's a Valley Forge Trojan. Uh, came up here, you know, to spend a couple minutes with you guys. So uh, we appreciate everything you coming out. So guys. This is my roommate uh, in the college. Uh, and he can tell you my first day here. Uh, first of all, I was the tallest one on the campus at the time. And you know, your issued shorts that you normally get, okay, they didn't have none of my size. So they gave me the swimming track shorts. So I was like the, the little retarded kid with the big guy with the small shorts. So that was me. Uh, and uh, like the majority of you guys, I don't know if y'all really enjoyed this and liked this environment from the beginning, but I was a very advocate. I couldn't stand this place, hated it to death, uh, cried, wanted to call my mom and them, like, I don't even want to be here. I don't need this military stuff. I don't need nobody to tell me what to do. That was not my problem. I just wanted to get my academics right. Uh, but for me, coming here is one of the best things I've probably ever done in my life. Uh, being through this situation right here got me prepared for later on in life. Uh, I know if y'all had uh, seen highlight reels of Coach Saban, Nick Saban. Okay, that was my first coach. So just imagine, coming from this, already getting yelled at as a plebe and all that, Coach Saban couldn't do nothing to, to me to break me down. So that actually helped me out a lot being here, uh, coaches and everybody and all the rest of the staff telling me what I didn't want to do. But this right here was definitely, um, have you appreciate all the rest of the guys you went to war with in this particular time of your life. And as you can see, I'm still friends with my roommate what, 20 years ago. I'm getting old. Uh, and the reason why I'm here is because I have my son, my oldest son here. I don't know if he's out there somewhere, but uh, he's 13. He's coming here. He looked at me like, oh, I don't want to go here uh, doing this here. You know how like our young guys do now. Twist your head, look down. I don't care what he's talking about, this is going to be the best situation for you. Uh, it's been plenty of guys, it's, the role has already been paid. Uh, and once you get through this, I mean, you can have a successful life afterwards, not considering either sports or uh, other entrepreneurships. Um, obviously, you have a lot of alumni that came out of here. So once they say, oh, you went to Valley Forward, they already know that you're, your character and you're, and you're a stand up guys who can deal with adversity no matter what it is. Um, now, on the football side of things, I love it here because I love to kick ass. And kicking ass here was, was our thing. Um, how many games we lose? One, 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 two years. And we didn't have this, which y'all had. We had a bench press, a couple dumbbells, and I was the guy, Coach Mike can tell you, uh, I was not the guy who always loved the weight room at the time. Uh, but, I mean, obviously y'all have gotten a lot better since I've been uh, as I'm returning right now. Um, but and this is a great opportunity. I hope y'all the best in you know, what y'all going through right now. Y'all will get over it. Um, this is, I'm telling you, to lead you to another d direction that y'all can be successful in whatever pursuing in your, your dreams in life that y'all want to do. Um, as Coach said, I was a five-time pro bowler. Uh, I'm the only guy in the NFL history that ever played four, four different positions in one game. And that, a lot of people have done. I played corner, defensive end. Uh, safety and uh, linebacker. So look it up. Uh, I, uh, like you said, I was a five time pro bowler. I told my Achilles, I had a major injury. They told me that um, I would never probably be the same ever again. And this is at the point where I was, at my highlight of my time, I was Khalil Mack. I'm the reason why Khalil Mack making this money right now. I was him. I told my Achilles. It's like, oh, you might not be the same. After that, I had one year of rehabbing, had a Pro Bowl alternate, first alternate, 
I dabbled in three straight Pro Bowls after that. So even with injuries and all that, and it's, people say that you can't do anything, you can't. Um, another thing, like, uh, for the NFL, if you get to that point and you're about to get drafted, whatever, it's a part on there that says about the Wonderland test. I don't know if y'all heard about that. It's similar to the SAT. Well, for me, I said, F that. I didn't care about that. I played football. So I have to that thing. Got the lowest score on it. They told me to take it again. Africa Dabbit. So they was like, oh, this guy's not, he can't learn. But obviously, you just heard me. I played four different positions in one game. Everybody on my team asked me, like, man, how do you collect all that information? How do you know that? I said, well, y'all considered me that I wasn't smart enough. But really, I was. I didn't matter about that. But stay in that meaning. Whatever you put your mind to, when you have your mind set on what you want to do, and you continue to follow the dreams, it's always going to be past and follow, I mean, uh, dicks, uh, ditches and stuff that's it's going to bump you up in the road. As long as you stay to your, your total path, you can get there. And with that being said, man, uh, I hope y'all the best. And y'all, y'all goals and y'all dreams and, uh, you know, win today. If y'all got any questions. <laughs>